can you please now welcome the groom to defend himself on everything that he's done to lead up to the big day. Please welcome Brad. Looks about as nervous as Reese Wesser walking down the tunnel for the A3 grand final too, doesn't he? Hey, Ron. All right, guys, Tanil covered most of the main points, so I'll try not to keep you too long. Can I save a full glass in front of you as I have a few toasts during my speech? There's just a couple, so I promise you won't be up and down as much as Tanil's 90 will be later tonight. <laughs> it's all your guys' fault as well. You keep saying it. Again, I would like to thank you all for coming today. I know a lot of you have undertaken an arduous journey to be with us. None more so than Phil Byrne. So can we please give him a big round of applause. Where are you, Phil? Where's Phil? All right. Guys, he actually lives just up the road, but he had to share the car with Dave Plackett. Trust me, that would have been tough for anyone to survive. You guys who know Dave will know that. I would like to thank Kelvin and Jane for <clears throat> welcome into their family <clears throat> and also for their help leading up to today. You've raised a beautiful, strong-minded daughter with a good head on her shoulders. She caught my attention the moment I first laid my eyes on her. But today's not about Bonnie. <laughs> We're just getting warmed up. Guys, I do actually want to give a special mention to Tanil's mum, Jane. As you guys already know, Jane has lived with us in Carafa for the last two years. And I know what you're thinking, it does feel like 10. <laughs> Surprisingly, living with your mother-in-law does have its advantages. I can't tell you how many nights the three of us in Halo have been sitting on the lounge, watching Married at First Sight. And Tanil has whispered in my ear, Brad, can you give me a shoulder massage? To which I quickly reply, no. But your mum will do it. <laughs> hey? <laughs> Honestly, Jane, you've been amazing. And if you didn't move to the other side of the country, I'm not sure how to know I would have managed. Well, you've got to be a strong man. <laughs> <laughs> You're always there to help when we need it. And Halo loves spending hours with Nanny at the Leisureplex. <clears throat> I'm sure most of our friends with kids in craft will agree you are a lifesaver. So, cheers, Jane. I, I love you. Now onto my parents, Kerry and Karen. I owe my mum and dad a lot of praise. They brought me up, <coughs> put up with me and guided me in the right direction. Sometimes guiding me in the right direction required the assistance of a wooden spoon. <laughs> I never seemed to get the last laugh. Even when you broke one on my backside, you always had another one ready to go. <laughs> I feel growing up, I taught you guys a few lessons. One of those was, don't sleep in on a Saturday morning when you have a five-year-old son, timber furniture, and a meat tenderizer in an easily accessible location. <laughs> yes, I left quite the impression that morning. <clears throat> Mum, I just want to say, as I'm sure my sisters and dad will agree, how proud I am of what you have achieved over the last 12 months. Dad, when I attended your 60th birthday last November, I remember the girls asking me if I'd do a speech that night. I told them I didn't need to as they'd already prepared one. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't want to as I knew my emotions would probably get the best of me. You're one of my best mates. I always enjoyed playing footy more whilst you were coaching me. You also taught me the best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. And surprisingly, I'm even grateful for the head of grey hairs I've seen to acquire from you. <laughs> as a son, all you ever want to hear your father say is that he's proud of you. Dad, I hope I make you proud. <coughs> and I want you to know I'm proud of you. I look forward to spending Saturday afternoons together having a beer and a bet at our local. <coughs> I want to add a special mention to our grandparents who have made the trip to be here today. My grandpa Hilton, my nan Frida, and Tanil's Dan Loyola. Tanil and I both agree our childhood would not have been the same if it wasn't for the love and warmth you have shown us growing up. 
It is sad that not every grandparent can be with us today. So let's raise a glass to Tanil's Poppy Don, my grandmother Joan, and my grandfather Neville, who we remember with love and pride. <laughs> to my groomsmen, thank you for standing beside me today. You guys have really helped settle the nerves, and I couldn't have asked for a better week leading up to the wedding. To have you all next to me on the hill at Bathurst last night, watching the Panthers, I pre-wrote this, <coughs> win. <coughs> I'll rephrase, the second half <coughs> is something that'll stick with me for a long time. I must also acknowledge how helpful the bridesmaids have been to Tanil. We're extremely grateful, and you've, you have all been a tower of strength for system with all the pre-wedding stress leading up to today. May I ask you all to join me in toasting the grooms and the bridesmaids. Cheers, guys. And now to the most important person of the day, Tanil. I'm sure you all agree with me that my wife looks absolutely stunning. I really couldn't ask for a better woman. If I did, Tanil would kill me. <laughs> Tanil has had a bit more involvement than I have in planning today, and I'd like to congratulate her on such an outstanding job. It looks amazing, though. I just want to start by taking you all back to the beginning. Um, I know Kerry, the celebrant, mentioned earlier, but um, yeah, I'll just rephrase it there. So we met five and a half years ago in a very romantic location, the Peachtree Hotel. <laughs> just one of the many pubs in Western Sydney where you can get your heart and your jaw broken at the same time. <laughs> Tanil had one of her friends approach me that night before she left to give me her number. Myself being the inquisitive type, and also the not trusting my beer goggles type, <laughs> organised a safe option of a catch-up the following evening. From that romantic Sunday night on the banks in the Peen River, we spoke nearly every day, and then spent most of my weeks off back in Sydney together. Tanil, I'm grateful that you took a chance after only four months of knowing me and moved to a remote mining town on the other side of the country. They say the harder you work, the more successful you become. I watched my wife work her backside off over the last five years to get to where she is today. Tanil runs a successful small business, and for those who have seen her work, you'll understand why she gets treated like a celebrity when we're out in Carafa. <laughs> Tanil, I know you have found your passion, and I see the joy your work brings you and your clients. I could not be more proud of you. <clears throat> Many couples say that the wedding day is the best day of their lives. I pre-wrote this, obviously, but it's... <laughs> I did write not to us, but it's up there. That day happened in July 2015 when our beautiful daughter Halo was born. She's our little princess who is one in a million. A few of you may know some of this story, and I just want to share a small part of it. That way everyone here tonight can see what an amazing wife and mother you are to Neil. Yeah. Halo was born via emergency caesarean. At the time, we had no idea what was going on, but later found out Tanil had suffered a severe fetal maternal hemorrhage. This caused Halo's body to shut down so that any remaining blood and oxygen could make its way to her brain. I could see the way in all the surgeons' faces as Tanil was prepped for the operation. This next part will stick with me for the rest of my life. I remember Tanil looking at me as she lay on the operating table. Me, a mess. I couldn't hold back my fears, let alone my tears. <clears throat> it should have been the other way around. With all this going on, Tanil lifts her head and whispers to me, Brad, whatever the outcome, we can get through this. We just need to stick together and stay strong. Tanil, I can never thank you enough, not only for your motherly instincts that night, but also your words of encouragement. Now, can you all please stand and raise your glasses to the two most beautiful girls I know, my amazing girls, Halo and Tanil. <laughs> Cheers, guys. You put your hands together for Brad. <laughs>